Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today, I'm going to go through <laughs> all the drag races. There's been so much drag race from Philippines, Canada, Down Under, and Secret Celebrity Drag Race. Um, it's almost like a new drag race every day on the Stupid Wild Presents app. Okay, I can't <laughs> keep up. <laughs> okay, but so far they've been pretty good. Okay, um, I did skip Drag Race France, so I might just you know talk a little bit about that. But I'm going to do a jazzy look inspired by Hannah Condor's look in the Bug Drunk Runway. Okay, this is one of those looks that I had to pause <laughs> when, when I saw. Okay, so beautiful her makeup here. It's always something that I wanted to try. All right, and I'm going to talk about um, the rest of the drag races and my future plans for Quabere as well. All right. Okay, so if that's something you see, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and the brows are gone. So today I'm just going to go through a general kind of overview of all the drag races, okay? It's like, there's really too much to go into detail about, but I really have to talk about Drag Race Philippines because it's the closest to home. Okay, and it's a full Asian cast, just like Drag, Drag Race Thailand. And I think some of these queens actually have been through Singapore before, like Eva Queen. I might actually miss some stuff out, but this is just going to be a, you know, a real general thing because I really don't have time to sit down and watch every single Drag Race more than once or twice <laughs> to do these videos. I really don't know how you do it, Wilma. <laughs> it's, it's become such a juggernaut that you just can't keep up. You just have to be very selective at what you do. All right, shut off. And I'm going to do this... Um, jazzy kind of a Norma Desmond kind of look today again okay this is this kind of drag is kind of like where I really started okay I had all this vintage kind of very sad doe eye kind of makeup a lot of like what my friends from the house of hot mess are doing as well okay but today I'm gonna try to do this Hannah Conda look okay I'm gonna try to copy her I've already screenshotted a whole bunch <laughs> of her runway her bug runway she looks so good so I'm going to try to get that look okay when I try to do this look, my, the main problem is that I bring the inner corner in up too far because I want that really do eye, but she does it just a little bit, okay? And the, and the brows aren't really that high either, okay? They're really just about there. Usually I put them like there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's give that a go. All right, so Drag Race Philippines. Drag Race Philippines, two, two episodes dropped, okay, on um, the Wild Presents app. And these queens are really letting it all hang out okay within the first two episodes and then tucked there's so much drama going on they really let <laughs> they really have their whole history laid out um for everyone to see it's like the producers are not pacing it at all and it sounds like so high stakes it's like person talking behind someone's back during online zooms people leaving houses or stuff like that it was just so too much it was really really too much and you couldn't keep track it's like i couldn't could, could was marina having having beef with who uh, apparently like <laughs> it half the cast so it was really it was a bit confusing and i think that could have been a little bit more streamlined but some of these young queens are really really stunning okay the promo looks did not do any of them justice i don't know what their brief for, for the promo look was like vehicle ele eleganza or something like that so many of them came in like this mugler inspired like vehicles but using like philippine like buses or carriages or something like that it looked really really strange the host is quite amazing okay um paulos balestros okay um apparently quite a popular drag queen in philippines okay makeup is amazing and quite a good host i think yeah and i think people are saying that this is like a response to manila going over and hosting drag then which doesn't even air until like November or something, but Manila has been doing like some of their challenges, like for example, the Dana challenge. She's been doing that on Instagram and everything, so it's quite shady. Okay, and of course, Jiggly, Coriander, is on the judging panel, which is quite cool, okay? I really, really like Jiggly. I mean, I've really been obsessed with her <laughs> since her season. And, you know, I think I mentioned this before, well, it's not anymore, but Jiggly Kaliander used to be like my Wi-Fi password or something. <laughs> okay, so this look usually is a bit more pale. So for contour, I am not going to um, pop in that much. Okay, so let's talk about the queens, okay? My impression after two episodes, which I think is a, probably a little bit more accurate than doing my impressions on the promo looks, okay? I think the one that's really standing out to me right now is Minty Fresh. Okay, Minty Fresh, she can sing, she can dance, she's gorgeous, and she's got quite a good eye for design, okay? From her really kind of this kind of a um, grey kind of a mullet, mullety kind of look with her really asymmetric look for the second runway, the Salaga Stravaganza um, flower runway that was really, really nice. 
Okay, and I think she's yeah, I think I think she is probably gonna go far. Okay, so for this really dark contour, I'm just doing it at the sides of my head. Okay, I'm gonna try to leave that a little bit blank. This rounds up the head a little bit more. Uh, Venus Deluxe is my, the second one, which I think is gonna go far. Okay, she's got, she seems like she's got an amazing personality, really, really fun. Her Sa Salaga Sravaganza runway was also pretty nice. Okay, I mean, they, they, they kind of like, edited it to make it look like it was going to flop but i think you could see in the workroom that there was probably one of the better ones okay with very amazing structure and everything this is one of those days where you blend the contour down to give you that you know very normal desmond kind of look Venice Deluxe was also the one that came in in a towel. <laughs> but you know, she was really smart, okay? Um, Eva La Queen spent like weeks on her looks, but she came in in a towel and slayed. I mean, she really made an impact with Jessa coming in in a towel. That was so smart, I thought. Okay, so as you can see, you know the Norma Desmond kind of look where it's a bit like the Morticia Adams thing. So you want to have this light almost like in the middle of your face. So they keep that part really light and white. Okay, and today I'm also going to use a whole bunch of new brushes that was that were gifted to me by this local company called 13 Rushes. The one tree is a bee, get it? <laughs> okay, she, they, they were kind of to send me a whole bunch of brushes, okay? And of course I have <laughs> so much brushes already, but I love getting new brushes, okay? And they have like really cool um, uh, packaging too. There's even like this Gudetama um, branded one, okay? The, the, the cute egg, okay? The brushes look like they're really, really high quality, very, very fluffy. Okay, so we're gonna try using some of these today. Thank you, 13 Rushes, for these brushes. I think they are gorgeous. Okay, and next, I think the, the third one that I'm really impressed by is Evil La Queen, obviously. Okay, her aesthetic is obviously Evil Queen, and she came in as a Snow White Evil Queen, but really dragged up version. Her makeup is stunning. It's like perfection. Okay, I love her makeup. She seems like she's got herself together. So she calls herself an unofficial drag agent. Okay, a bit like Latrice Royale, you know, managing the careers of drag queens. And you know, when people, there's no one to do it, <laughs> it's, it's good to start your own company. Okay, because the, the demand for drag queens is going to be so high over the next few years. Okay, um, in Untucked, episode 2 Untucked, there's this lengthy conversation about branding. And I think she sums it up really well. Okay, she sums up some of the Queen's branding, such as um, uh, hers is the evil queen and opulence, and Minty Fresh is a fashion, and Marina Summers is this summery girl vibes. Okay, I think it's so important for drag queens to have a gimmick of some sort. I'm not really sure what mine is yet. I guess if you were to say my branding, I would say it would be campy housewife, campy vintage um, creature of the night. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta figure it out before I go on Drag Race Philippines. Set everything with a brush today. Hmm, let's a lot more control then. Just whacking everything on. Okay, so going in with the eyes, um, Hannah Conda looks like she has quite a it's almost very, it's a, quite a warm brown. I apologize if my air filter was going off earlier. I forgot to turn it off. Okay, the important thing here is a white under eye. So what, the usual time I do my white under eye, I usually just do the corner, but this this for this look, it goes all the way round, okay? Rounded at the bottom, okay? So I think I'm gonna mark that out with eyeshadow for... Okay, I'm gonna use one of these small angled brushes from 13 Rushes, and I'm gonna use the brown. Okay, in my search palette called Grunge, I'm going to draw this semicircle underneath the eye. Okay, and it's almost like going outwards a little bit. Okay, I'm making it meet up with my, this outer fold, okay, which is pretty much symmetrical. So my lids are unprimed, so I'm just going to prime them with a little bit of this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, next. <clears throat> next is Turing. Turing is interesting. She's a little bit messy. Okay, um, she has this big trans girl energy. But you know, her, her runways are not really good. But I think she has a really amazing personality. And she's so genuine and authentic that I think I gravitate towards her as well. 
her looks weren't great okay for the first look the terno look okay this philippine traditional dress where they have this kind of like this arched kind of shoulder pads okay it looks very very 80s very imelda marcos is that this is the the terno dress okay she did something where she tried to have one big one and then 10 small ones running down the sides um it was this looks aw looked awful okay um even like prince oh shit so even prince who um tried to do something a little bit different where he had the terno shoulder pads somewhere like halfway down the thing on his blue outfit looked bad okay i think for for this look you couldn't stray too far from the actual look itself okay so now that it's all primed it's basically a halo eye i'm going to use a dark brown okay from the search palette the same brown i use at the bottom there whenever i do a halo eye sometimes i go too big okay and then i look a bit like what i look like from a national day with this big blown out halo eye. this time I'm gonna, it has to be a bit more controlled okay so i'm just going to pack it on with this domi brush from 13 rushes this is classic shadow here okay so grunge pack on this brown here okay i'm going to follow the shape of my own socket right there and try not to go too much further from that okay and here okay so keep it there okay and this look is not a lifted look like my usual drag looks okay it's almost like going down so I'm, not, I'm going to try to avoid putting any shadow in this area here where i usually would you know flick everything up i'm just going to keep it down below this bone oh, this brush is great look at the way it blends out the shadow okay and then you can just work it a little bit inwards okay so that's a base of the look and then i blend it out a little bit not too much okay and bring it down around the bottom but i'm going to use a smaller brush for that okay next next is zillowette okay zillowette with an x okay um i did not gravitate towards her she looks a little bit bitchy and quite um annoying <laughs> she seems to be very entitled okay she has this long-standing beef with marina summers just because marina summers went off did a music video from what i gather did a music video and kind of like left the house but it seems like zillowette also did some shady stuff on twitter or something okay anyway it's like it's too much too much drama <laughs> that i just cannot keep track of okay i'm gonna use a small blending brush this is called a mini blender i'm grabbing oak and i'm just going to blend the sides a little bit blending it downwards if I can. These brushes blend nice. Okay, so I'm actually bring it down here huh? rather than up there. Okay, and blend out this line here. Okay, like that. All right, okay, I'm going to do this on the other side and I'll be back to talk about the rest of the queens. So I've done it on both sides and now and i've filled in that bit with white and i'm just using this what is called a detail shader from 13 rushes and i'm just blending the halo eye in okay i'm using taboo which is a little bit of a redder redder shade from the search palette and i've also um, used this to flick this up a little bit in the middle here to make it give me that doughy look Okay, and now just the liner. Okay, so the liner doesn't go up as usual. Liner follows the eye. Okay, next, Marina Summers, another gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous queen. She looks like Georges and Abby, oh my god. I think there was a meme going around that, you know, make sure that they have this very, very similar look, both in and out of drag. Very cute as a boy. Okay, and quite talented as well. I mean, she had her own music video and everything. And yeah, these young queens do seem like they have a bit of beef with each other. Some man drama with Minty and yeah, but but she but she but she's really 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 cute, very gorgeous. Okay, now I'm setting that with a black eyeshadow and blending it out a little bit. Okay, so for black, very strategically placed. Okay, not too much because you want to keep that warm look. Just a little bit on the inside, just so you get that kind of a halo look, okay? And then bring it down all the way to the front. But this, for this, I'm going to use an angled brush. Connect it up to that eyeliner there. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in and finish up with some glitter later, but let's go in with the brows now. Tricky part. Okay, and next, I'm gonna just rush through the rest of this queen's Lady Morgana. A bit crunchy. She seems like she's got a great personality also, but you know, her looks not really good. And her talent, this reading news for talent did not translate on a drag race stage. Black makeup forever pencil. Sad brows. Okay, Brigading seems like a very interesting queen. She's very polished. Her wigs are amazing. She's got really good looks on Instagram, but yeah, she has seem. I guess I don't know whether it's an edit, but yeah, as um, Marina Summer says, a little bit vanilla. Okay, but she's an amazingly talented queen as well. Okay. Yeah, she, she, she did like start to drum up a little bit of drama and untucked also, try, basically calling the other safe girls the bottom three. <laughs> and, and not only the safe girls, these were Marina Summers and Evil Queen, okay, who look like the front runners of the whole, sh whole shindig. Okay, there's Precious Paula Nicole. Unfortunately, she also seems like a little bit fading into the background, although she has a lot of camera presence i still can't pick her out of a pick her out of a lineup i really don't know which which one she is most of the time and of course it's prince who went home first um cute guy but um unfortunately um did not live up to the standards this is where i got everyone oh yeah corazon corazon almost forgot her completely <laughs> she was a loud pageant queen um yeah i wasn't a fan of her either but she went home second Oh god, that looks bad. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix this brow off camera. I'm gonna figure out how to do that <laughs> using a black pencil. And I'll be right back. Alright, fixed up the brows as much as I can. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, these are difficult brows, okay? I think Sissy and Sassy sucked it, sir. Um, very brave for doing this a lot. Okay, I'm warming up my face with Megastar, the Morphe Glamour Bronze. You don't forget to keep this white here. And then this downwards. I think that's all the queens, right? Corazon. Oh yeah, Gigi Era. Nearly forgot about her. Uh, Gigi Era, she's a Melbourne queen. Um, has some mirror moments about some childhood abuse. Um, yeah, they really tried to get so much out in two episodes. It's like, it was a little bit quite jarring. Okay, now the nose. The nose contour, I'm going to try to um, do a very distinct nose contour like what Hannah Conda does. Okay, really bring it all the way in. And for that, I'm going to use one of these straight edged brushes from 13 Rushes. When it goes right straight across the top. Okay, I'm going to use this in my contour palette. I'm just going to stamp on my contour. Okay, so it's going to be like from here. This really fine detail brush. This is a kind of a new way I'm doing my contour now. Usually it's go up and down the sides, but let's try this way. I guess that's it for Drag Race Philippines. Very exciting to see more Asian queens enter the Drag Race canon. I really hope they get a chance to, you know, join all the all-stars all over the world because some of these queens are really amazing and, you know, they all speak perfect English. So I think they will fit in very well with all the, you know, UK versus the worlds and all those. Very interested to see Manila's drag then also. That's going to be coming in November. Okay, so that's roughly a shade of the nose. I'm going to go in and darken it. I guess the rest of the Drag Race franchises, they are, they are quite exciting. I think Drag Race Canada has probably the best challenges, okay? All very fresh new challenges. For example, the, um, the recent challenge, the cosmetics challenge, okay? Where they can make their own makeup palette and market it. It's a branding challenge, but... It's really something that drag queens are really are doing nowadays and I think it was a perfect challenge. I don't know why they haven't done it before. It's a challenge that I would love to have done. Miss Fierce Delicious obviously did very well because she, I mean she said in the same episode that she learned a lot of makeup from YouTube. So she knows exactly how all that works and she slayed it. Okay, I thought she was very, very good. Except the lighting for the challenge was really, really bad. I don't know why they did all this overhead lighting for all the queens. It looks so rough in that commercial. Only when they were sitting in front of the vanity, they looked good, but that was really, really bad homophobic lighting. I'm gonna go in with this really dark berry blush today. I'll use this uh, this 13 Rushes brush. Really dense um, angled powder brush. I'm gonna use this to really go in with uh, blushes. And it's almost right, goes right over the content. I'm gonna drape it down. This color matches the eye, see? 
Okay, let's set that. Some highlights. All right, going into the lips. Usually for this kind of look, I do a very small lip, but today I'm going to try to do the Hannah Connor's really big, full lips. This is very blood red lip, and I really want to try this new vinyl um, lipstick from Maybelline. Actually, this look is also going to be the promo for my next Quabere. Okay, guess the theme. <laughs> And then trying this vinyl lip. Thirteen Rushes comes with this cute double-ended lip brush, I guess. And uses to clean up the angles. Blend it out a little bit. The okay, Drag Race Down Under. Drag Race Down Under is actually pretty good. Okay, I think some of the queens are really, really, are really talented. I mean, Hannah Conda is amazing. Okay, her comedy is great. Her makeup, I love her makeup. The minute she walked in, I thought this this is a, her makeup is really, really cool. Mini Cooper is hilarious. Queen Kong is gorgeous. <laughs> Trade of the season, definitely. Okay, I'm giving myself that full full upper lip look. Okay, and the other, the other thing that's been playing is the Secret Celebrity Drag Race, which Willem hates. <laughs> it's a bit hard to watch, okay, seeing all these celebrities basically do lip sync battle. It is quite fun to see, I mean, try to guess the celebrities, but after you listen to a few Drag Race podcasts, you kind of know exactly who all of them are. But Brooklyn Heights looks amazing. Brooklyn Heights, it looks so fucking stunning in all, everywhere she is, okay, her hair and everything. That's some, I think her aesthetic is something that I'm trying to go for too. I really... Hope I can recreate all her wig. She's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in some finishing touches and I'll be back with the finished look. See ya. All right, and it seems like I was a real moron here. I was sweeping around with my robe and I think I knocked out the USB so it didn't record any sound. Anyway, I do look a bit strange here. My, I'm not sure I like my eyes these shape, but what the hell. And I'm forgetting my gloves, putting on my gloves. <laughs> yeah, so this is my look for my new quabbery, which is called Jazz In My Face. It's a jazz show. Yeah, the tickets are available, so please click on the link down in the description. And my show this weekend is all sold out, but if you do want to come, I think there's going to be standing room available. So please come and and join us for the dance party too. I'm going to be lip syncing for one of the first times in my life. So that's going to be a sight to behold. <laughs> and if you like this video, don't forget to, you know, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, tell them that this is crazy drag queen in Singapore doing all this live singing cabarets. All right. Okay. So um, I guess, I guess that's it. And yep. Thanks for being around. I really appreciate you guys sticking up with me and I'll see you next time. Bye. Alright, here's some sexy poses.